So the first of this week's Moors Millions. Next down, this is leg 13. It's the shorter variety. It's three miles and three furlongs this time. And 0 to 140. And the top one is break free. Molly at Surfer. Passive Future. Daniel French. I'm Quackers. Kevin Meanhan. Phantasmagoria. Obi Wan. Cattail. Carla Regante. Windy Miller. Kevin Meanhan. Magic Muldoon. Martin Leadham. Nickel Coin. Darren Howes. Schechter. James Follis. Silver King. Darren Howes. Chief Orlando. Carla Regante. Warpointer. Alex Cherry. Half Supreme. Derek Hinton. Dustmaster. Graham Clutterbuck. Karate. Alex Cherry. Carousel. Martin Leadham. And Heather Oscar. Doug Warren, so 17 of the men. This is probably the final week of qualifying. I'm not sure whether there are any qualifiers next week, so it might be a last chance to get in. And away they go. And break free on the inside, just the first to show from Chief Orlando. But they sort themselves out in through the first furlong or so, see where they want to be. And as usual, it's a Derek Hinton horse that's gone to the fore and he's been joined by Carla Regante. So they normally like to lead those two don't they as they skip over the first of 21 fences and they're all safe to go over that one with Chief Orlando in the blue for Carla Regante on the outside of Half Supreme for Derek Hinton in the pink and a gap of a couple of lengths back to break free in third place for Moliet Surfer as they take the second and the second of the Carla Regante horses Cattail is after that one the early back marker is Passive Future They've got a long way to go. They've still got three miles to go, so they're going to go up a straight now, and then they've got to do two complete circuits of the Hereford track. And Half Supreme is the leader. He's going to try and lead past the winning post three times, it would seem, as they take this one will be the final fence in a couple of circuits' time. And Half Supreme leads. He's won the battle with Chief Orlando and he's gone clear by three lengths now Chief Orlando's been joined by Break Free and Cattail and a gap of another three to Dustmaster and a gap of another length or so to Schechter and Heather Oscar with the main body of the field then pretty tightly packed and headed by Karate with Passive Future at the back so they skip over number four then three grades in this one the first one is well, it's two of them from the back Passive Future is the one Right at the back, the one in the yellow jacket is Phantasmagoria, and then the two Darren House horses are together. One of them is the grey, and one of them isn't. Uh, Silver King, you would think, is the grey, but I've got a bit of a feeling that I've fallen for that trick once already this season, and that the grey is actually Nickel Coin, and Silver King is not the grey, so let's not fall for that one twice. And oh, Waffling Break Freeze come through to take it up, but he's been out jumped there by Half Supreme, and Half Supreme leads by half a length to Break Free. He's broken free off the rest of the field and has joined the leader in second in the Carla Aganti pair of next Chief Orlando and Cattail. And they get back to Schechter and Dustmaster Carousel and Silver King. And Karate on the inside as they take number seven. Over that one they go mistake at the back by Al I'm Quackers, who presumably is in some way related to the easy winner of the last race for Kevin Meanahan Quack. So they take that one then. And Half Supreme is the leader by three quarters of a length. Two break free second, Cattail third, and Chief Orlando four. Carousel's moved up into fifth as they take this ditch. And there's a four there, Dustmaster's gone. So Dustmaster is out of the race. First one to depart with just less than two miles to go still. And Half Supreme from break free. And Cattail Carousel's the one who's made significant progress up around the outside. Gap behind him to Schechter and Windy Miller. And Karate and Warpoint are the two Alex Cherry horses running together with Nickel Coin. Phantasm Magoria is after that as they take number 10. And Passive Future has remained at the back throughout. Heather Oscar has also been pretty near the back. Still, I think Arm Quackers was at the back for a while, wasn't he? So anyway, Half Supreme and Break Free dispute the lead to Cattail and Carousel as they take the next. And over that one we are losing the grey nickel coin, so nickel coin doesn't fancy it and is going to be part of the race before the final mile and a half and half supreme is the leader to break free on the outside Cattail still going well in third, Carousel then heads a group of three with Chief Orlando and Windy Miller as they take that next one and also Passive Future is being pulled up at the back now as well so always been near the back as near as they pass the winning post then they got one more circuit of Hereford to go one more time round once more in the shadow of that huge building that looks like a big car park or something and keeping away from the electric fence and then they're back home
for the end of the race. So let's skip over the next one then. Heather Oscar, just the back marker. Oh, Supreme and Brink Free have been disputing the lead all the way around. Cattail is third. Wendy Miller is fourth and Chief Orlando is five. Carousel is six and Silver King is seven. Then Schechter eight, Karate nine, Magic Muldoon after that one. Has been hiding in the pack for most of the race. I don't think I've mentioned that one yet as they take the ditch. And over that, oh, Heather Oscar's gone at the back there. So the second forwarder of the race. And that's Doug Warren's horse out. It's half supreme. Oh, well, he didn't jump that very well at all there, half supreme. He got away with it though. But how much of the stuff he wanted to have taken out of him? Break free looks to be going well in second. We're just going to jump on the back of on Quackers. Just as the race starts to heat up. Sit on the horse at the back. You see, he jumped that really well actually. He's moved through the field quite nicely, but. Um, Hopefully nothing too interesting happening up front. We've only got six furlongs to go now, and this is the 17th. And I think they're all over that one okay. Coming down towards the next end, and on Quackers is making significant progress on the outside. It looks like the jockey can make him a favour there. Oh, it's a faller there. That's Windy Miller's gone. Windy Miller crashes out of the race at the 18th end, and it's still half supreme in the lead, but here comes Silver King and I'm Quackers. Then Chief Orlando break freeze after that one. Then Karate Schechter is next. Then Cattail Carousel dropped right out of it. Oh, we were jockey going. Phantasm is tailed off, but it's Silver King and half supreme. Then from I'm Quackers in third. Then break free who also lost his place while we were on jockey camp. But it's Silver King in the lead. Then over the third last they go. And Silver King leads from half supreme. He's been up there all the way. I'm Quackers put a lot of effort in to get up into third place. Up what's he got left? Then comes Karate in fourth. Break free is after that one. Chief Orlando checked is trying to run on, but it's Silver King over the second last. Silver King's over the second last in the lead. Then comes Half Supreme in second. On Crackers is third. Then Karate. Break free. Schechter. World pointer after them. Phantasmagoria's tailed off. Cattails drop right out of it. But it's Silver King into the straight. Then one to jump. Silver King is five lengths clear. Half Supreme is second. Karate's now the one that's running on. It's surely nothing else can win this. Silver King looks to slip the field over the final fence. Silver King gets over it well. Karate's in hot pursuit. So too's Break free. But this is Silver King's going to take this. The handicap it must have had a bad week this week because that's another easy win in a handicap. Silver King takes it from Karate. Break free was after that one. Cattail was last in the end. And Silver King for Darren Howells is the winner. Karate for Alex Cherry second. Break free for Molly at Surfer was third. Then I think it was the long time leader, Half Supreme, who stuck on to be fourth. The card's going to go back up again. It doesn't look like it is, so I can't really tell you what was fifth. Sorry about that.